scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Japan, weighing in at 191 pounds, Masters As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. And his partner, from Japan, weighing in at 254 pounds, Ted We're Sam. just moments away from this huge tag team match, guys. And I don't think I've ever seen these four superstars more motivated than they appear to be heading into this one, Michael. here tonight. Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. The tag team action underway here. And whichever team wins this match here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. seeing his partner look extremely confident. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. Ouch. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. Well, this certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. Hates you. expected though it's not like he's in there with a slouch oh. guys it looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there and now might be a good time to give him what he wants yeah but if you count him out now guys oh. you'd be making a very big mistake mark my words Whoa. 
He wants no part of the outside. That's how you wear down your opponent. In off the tag. What a strike. Harsh impact. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ouch. Oh, driver spiked him. Isn't it? Wow, I thought he was a goner. When this guy's on, look at him. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move. He might have it. <laughs> he might have just ended this. And here's a cover. And the shoulder gets up in time. Too early for that. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that, he's looking at it. Is it enough to end this match? And he breaks the hold. But look at him, still trying to catch his breath. Beautiful technique. Look out, he's almost there. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. I think we're gonna get the tag. There it is, the tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. It's a guy right on the mark. He's struggling a bit here. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. Dragon suplex. What a stop, good grief. Here he goes. What impact. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Impact. He's making a statement here with this attack. So you can talk about dismantling your opponent. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop a bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus after their thrilling best of seven series. He's looking at it. That's what he was looking for, Michael. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. You gotta believe this one's over! Four. Five. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. Six. Enemy hits 
takes this, this one's over. That's what you call a bad landing. That has got to be it. Hey, what goes up must come down. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He might have it. Whoa! He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. He's playing with him now. He doesn't look too eager to get up, and I don't blame him. Incoming. Two. He's looking a little off balance. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. Well, it'd be unrealistic to expect him to not at least take some offense here. The good news for him is that he still appears to be in a better place than his opponent. another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. This was another great moment. Look at him go. Check him out here. Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action. Here are your winners, Masters Watts and Ted Sam. That's it for this tag team match, and what a thrilling match it was. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead.